Welcome back to the final week of how to use ChatGPT and other generative AI tools in your newsrooms. Congratulations on making it through to week four. It can be difficult to make time for a course, and we're glad you've stuck with it. This is module four, video one, on reporting on AI, your role in moving the industry forward, and the future of AI and news. We spent most of our time here relaying newsroom tools, but I want to take a quick moment on the enormous need for newsrooms to cover AI in society. You might be thinking, I cover police and there's no AI in policing. Tell that to the Tampa Bay Times reporting team who covered a sheriff's use of AI technology to predetermine criminals in high school students. Kathleen McGrory and Neil Betty said they asked basic, sometimes even non-technical questions, and the story unfolded. This team won a Pulitzer Prize in 2022 for their series, Targeted. A link to the conversation between these reporters and AP reporter Garance Burke is included in this module. AI technologies cut across every beat and in even the smallest of towns. If you're reporting on schools, ask how they track and measure student progress. AP has issued new guidelines for covering AI, written by AP reporter Garan Burke. AP has also issued guidance for staff on using tools like ChatGPT. Part of the guidance is that any output from a generative AI tool should be treated as unvetted source material. AP also urges staff to not put confidential or sensitive information into AI tools as the terms of service vary in terms of data collection and retention. I didn't want a course on generative AI and news go by without including the reason we're all here, helping to produce and distribute the news so people can make informed decisions about their lives. Thank you.